Silly season officially began back in May with the news that Eli Tomac would be moving to Star Racing Yamaha for the 2022 season. But other than Rocky Mountain KTM photoshopping Shane McElrath's face onto Joey Savacci's body, there hasn't been much in the way of rider signings. Until now, today, Red Bull KTM announces that they have come to terms with Marvin Muskin for the 2022 season, although with an asterisk attached. The official press release, retrieved from KTM's official website, that Marv has locked in a deal to remain with the Red Bull KTM factory racing team through the 2022 AMA Supercross Championship. This leaves one to speculate if they're planning on bringing up a hotly anticipated 250 rider for the outdoor season, somebody like maybe Jeremy Martin or Justin Cooper, or possibly that the 31-year-old French rider is simply transitioning to a Supercross-only deal, much like something that has extended the careers of Justin Brayton and Chad Reed well into their late 30s. About the signing, Marv said, I'm really happy to extend my contract for another year, making 12 years racing in the US and 14 years in total with the Red Bull KTM family. It's no secret that everyone on the team is like family to me. It will be another fun challenge working with the new bike, which will be a lot more work, but that's exciting. I look forward to focusing my efforts on the Supercross series and to the Supercross schedule being back to normal, starting back at Anaheim in January. Roger DeCoster, the director of motorsports for KTM, added, Marvin will be back for another Supercross season, and I think he wants to prove to us that he is like red wine and gets better with time. After serious knee surgery two years ago, Marvin worked hard to recover, and he is back in top shape, so we feel that, and after finishing stronger this year in Supercross with a win and second in the last two races, he will be back capable to perform at a top level. After becoming a permanent fixture at the top of the standings, both indoor and out, finishing on the podium every single series from 2017 through 2019, Marvis had a disappointing 2021, finishing ninth overall in Supercross and currently sitting seventh overall in outdoor with just one race to go. The Supercross only deal could also leave open the long rumored possibility that Aaron Plessinger is moving to Red Bull KTM for the 2022 season, meaning that the team will field three bikes indoor and two out. Perhaps extending this team also coincides with the rumor that Rockstar Husk Varna could be shrinking or even going away completely. Hopefully those mysteries will be resolved sooner rather than later with just three months until the start of the 2022 Supercross season. Do you think that signing Marv for 2022 is a good idea for KTM or do you think he is past his prime and it's a wasted signing? Let me know in the comments below if you would have signed Marvin to your favorite team for next year. And be sure to like the video and subscribe for all of the latest news on rider signings as the silly season plays on in addition to our fantasy moto content that the channel was founded around. My name is Donnie. Keep it pinned to the weekend.